Okay, so down in the comments, you guys have asked me a couple times, what line do you use? Does your line really matter? Well, today we're going to answer all of your questions. What I've done for this particular experiment today is I went out and I've picked up three types of line. We have fluorocarbon, monofilament, and braided line right here. Now, this is what makes these lines special. Every one of these lines is on the exact same diameter, okay? Flip this over, I'll show you. We've got a 0.25 millimeter shown here, and 0.25 shown here, and a 0.25 shown here. And essentially that just means got, these guys are very similar in diameter or width of line. And the goal for today's video is simple. We want to know, is fluorocarbon the only line that will catch fish, or will they bite all lines? What we're going to do, first we want to pick up our line here. What we're going to do for this video is we're, we've got ourselves a main line here. This main line is six pound SOS by trout magnet. We're going to be tying a leader with all three of these particular lines. And we are going to see if it really affects the overall bite of each fish. Now before we get started, I would like to say these three lines differ very much so. And to get that right across very quickly, fluorocarbon for one is very clear almost completely clear underwater and it's very dense it sinks it sinks quickly so therefore while fishing your baits your baits will sink quicker with this line now monofilament very similar it's almost clear but not quite however this line will float on the water so if you want your bait to sink quickly this is not for you but if you want your bait to sink slowly or stay on the surface this is for you and this is a pretty solid line it's got a lot of stretch and to be honest this is probably you know the most fishable line out there and will always be but it has its disadvantages as well such as clarity now the least useful for trout fishing anyways is braid however this is a 0.25 millimeter line the same as the others but this is 20 pounds so you can catch quite a large fish on this particular string but it's extremely visible so when you're fishing this across the stream, the fish are you know a lot more likely to see this line. However, you know with the strength, it kind of makes up for it. Um, this line also floats. However, the longer you fish it, the more water the braid itself will soak in or wick in, and it will begin to sink as well. This is often used as a main line just because of its strength and durability. But without further ado, we're going to pop into these strings. We're going to start with the tried and true monofilament. Then we'll switch to the fluorocarbon. And then last and not least, we'll switch to the braid to see if we can catch fish on it. So without further ado, we're going to toss up a liter of this 8-pound, 0.25, trilene, ultra-smooth monofilament, and we're going to get started. To keep this challenge completely fair, I've got this small pack of trout magnets here. I will be using these and only these. These are gold jig heads, uh, 164th ounce. They're bodies and two floats. To keep this challenge completely fair, this will be the only particular baits I will use. I may switch back and forth between colors, um, but this is it. The depths may change due to the areas, but we're going to start off with this monofilament. We're going to get ourselves a trout magnet from this kit tied on, and we're going to get started. Okay, so we've got our monofilament leader tied on here, as you can see. We've got our float, and a little ways down, we've got our trout magnet jig. Now this is our monofilament, trilene brand. Um, again, this is a floating line very thin in diameter and all we're going to do is we're just simply going to work our way down this string and we're going to see if we can pick off any fish using this monofilament line There's one. It took a little while. A few bait changes. But monofilament will work. Now I'm going to go on ahead and say that I have fished far too long to have not already caught this fish. So it's pretty safe to say that using the more clear fluorocarbon line likely would have sped up this process. However, this monofilament definitely works. 
and if you're trying to save a few bucks well there's really no need to buy the fluorocarbon okay just sneak right on over here somewhere to find a good place to land this guy the monofilament line did work I also lost my magnet here that's not good monofilament line did work like I said it took a little while longer than expected I'd say 30 minutes or so but it did work so monofilament line guys like I said if you want to save a few bucks by all means grab you some it will work um, let's go ahead and switch to the braid I expect that to be the most difficult but we'll find out let's go ahead and get some braid tied on and I'll get right back with you okay so we've got our trout magnet tied up our 0.25 millimeter braid and our float tied here to our main line and we're just going to see if we can even catch a fish using braid you know all the statistics and the studies say that that's not the way to go but let's just find out if it can be done now these fish are being really finicky today and they're not biting very well with that being said you know the trout magnet may not be the key nor the braid but let's go on ahead and hop in here and let's just see how this goes down Huh. All right. I've been here for about 30 minutes casting around this braid, and we've had no bites. I'm still seeing fish. Um, I think I'm going to call this a last drift, and we will pull out the fluorocarbon and see if it will also kind of get passed on, or if they will more quickly react to the fluorocarbon and bite. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and pop off this braid. We've given it its fair chance. We've even given it an advantage with a better bait, still no success. So let's remove the braid. We'll tie on us a fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon leader, and let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, so we've got our fluorocarbon 100%, 0.25 millimeter, our gold trout magnet hook, uh, 164th ounce in our body. We've still got our float. And here is our leader knot to kind of show the difference in the SOS and the 100% fluorocarbon. You can slightly see a difference. I don't know if you guys can. But we're going to hop back in here. And we're going to see if the power of fluorocarbon makes any difference or not. The monofilament took a while to catch a fish. The braid simply did not get bit at all. And we're going to see what happens with the fluorocarbon. The fluorocarbon does sink faster. It allows a better presentation on a drift, and um, it's completely invisible. Oh, there was our bite. All right, so here's the deal, boys and girls. Very first drift, okay? I drifted this thing with braid 30 times, and then I even gave it an advantage and put on a Berkeley pinched crawler, okay? Nothing. Very first drift through here using fluorocarbon. Very first. We got a bite right there. As a matter of fact, that bite surprised me so much that I completely missed the fish. It still astonishes me, guys, that that fish bit on the very first drift, even though it had seen that bait attached to other lines multiple times. Absolutely astonishing. Oh, there he was. I hooked him again. Okay, I don't think I'll get a hook in that fish again, just because that's twice. <laughs> But um, let's check our hook here and make sure that there's no defect. Sometimes you'll find that. Hook point sharp, scratch our nail, still scratches the nail. Hook point's good and sharp. All right, guys. Cattle came through and moved us out of our last spot. Um, they were ready for a drink, I suppose. So we moved up here to the falls. We're gonna continue throwing our trout magnet and our fluorocarbon line. And we're just going to see how long it will take to pick up a fish here. There's one. Okay, it didn't take that fluorocarbon too awful long. Oh, he's a good one. I'd say probably uh, five casts in this spot, a few casts in the other spot that the cattle run us out of, and the fluorocarbon come through for us. This guy either ate it or he kicked off another one of my magnets. Looks like he may have. 
swallowed her on down. Oh. All right, let's get this beauty right on in the net here. Huh, well that little booger threw off my magnet again. So this is what I figured out about that. The um, trout magnet kits, the small kits, the body seemed to be a little bit weaker. They, they break off. But here is yet again another gorgeous rainbow trout. And uh, needless to say, guys, fluorocarbon is the ideal go-to line. However, monofilament's still successful. And braided line really only has a place in the trout game as a main line. Not your leader, not your tippet. Let's let this little beauty right here swim right on out of the net, guys. I do thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Make sure you like this video. And until next time, tight lines. There she goes, like a rocket.